If you're wanting to stay in Chicago, if you're wanting to RV in Chicago, there's really only one option. There's kind of like two options within that one option. Yeah. Which in Chicago. Is, yep. Which is the McCormick Place Marshalling Yard? Or just McCormick Place parking lot? Yeah, McCormick Place Marshalling Yard is the is char in charge of the parking lot around McCormick Place, which is actually like the convention center just outside of downtown Chicago. Yep. You can stay here overnight. There's no hookups, anything like that. And as you can tell, it's where they park all of the trucks. So it's not glamorous, it's not beautiful, but it is literally the only option for RV parking within an hour of the city. Yeah. It's definitely the place to be if you want to explore Chicago. It is $30 a night, right? It's $22 a night, but uh, there's a reservation fee of like $8 a night. So it just, just assume you're going to pay $30 a night for dry camping. Yes, but that's the big key is it is reservable. So you can actually guarantee that you've got a spot in Chicago by reserving it online through their website. We were coming for Lollapalooza, so we were really concerned that it might be completely full. But we got here and there was hardly anybody here. So uh, you might be okay by not reserving, but at the same time, if there's a Bears game or something like that, it, they could charge you a lot more. So there's two places to park in the marshalling yard. One is the 18th Street lot. We stayed in the 18th Street lot our first, really eight days. It's a great location. We're all by ourselves. Just a hop, skip, and a jump to downtown. Really one mile into downtown, we walked the first night just to go explore the city. There's also a Divi bike station, which is the city bike program and the metro stop is right there i mean it's like literally a quarter of a mile maybe yeah, an eighth of a mile if you could hop the fence it's actually like a few feet away but you have to walk around the stupid fence and also a uh, soldier fields right there uh all the museums like the shed aquarium the planetarium thingy and, and a bunch of other museums all within walking distance or riding distance if you decide to take the divvy bikes then your second option oh, wait, 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 but the only downside about the 18th street is the fact that you're all alone, which is a good thing, yes. but um, there is security and it's supposed to be gated or fenced in, but it's kind of a weak little fence and anybody could jump it or anybody could drive an SUV right over the curb. So it's not really gated, even though that's what it says on our website. Um, but the security does come by. We saw them, in, you know, a dozen times a day. Uh, so I don't, we didn't feel yeah. insecure. No, we felt fine the whole time we were there. And the security guys were always very friendly if you wanted to stop them or ask them a question, yeah. anything like that. Yeah. It was we're, never a problem. It's really quiet there. So other than the road traffic and the train that passed by, it was really quiet. And we were able to walk Singa. Uh, he found some catnip. There's a lot of green, like not a lot of green space, but a, a pretty decent strip of green space if you want to walk your pet or whatever. Yeah, that was a lot. That was a lot. So your second option would be the 31st Street lot, which is right by security. Uh, just a hop, skip, and a jump over to the 31st Street uh, Marina. Marina. 31st Street Beach. So you have beach access literally a quarter of a mile away that you can walk to. Yep. A divvy bike, a metro station. It's all, it's all right there. Um, you're closer to security and you're closer to the, the driver's lounge, which is just like a little vending machine and a place to hang out. Yep. Not that you want to hang out there. No. Still, with both options, there's no water. See, it's pretty loud around here. Yeah, there's a lot of people coming and going in 31st Street yeah. lot. So it's not a glamorous place to be and it's definitely not peaceful, but we're, we haven't been here this whole time. We've been out exploring Chicago, so it hasn't been a big deal. Oh, but just to, to let you know, there's no water, there's no electric, there's no dump station. The closest dump station is like 30 miles away. So, wow, that's a really quiet bus, kind of. <laughs> Not really. Uh, so you're all alone out here. There's nowhere to dump, nowhere to fill up. So just so you know. Come prepared with your tanks empty and full. Yeah, and this is where a good solar setup obviously comes in handy and an auto gen start we've used a lot more than we expected because there's been a lot more clouds than yeah. we ever imagined here. So I think that's it. Yeah. That's, that's the McCormick Place parking lot. Uh, and that's your only option if you want to stay in the city of Chicago. But it is a prime location and it's been perfect for us. And we have definitely enjoyed staying in the city and immersing ourselves in Chicago. Yeah, and having the Lakefront Trail right there. It's, yeah. You can get away from this ugly parking lot in just a short walk and you're on the beautiful Lakefront Trail. So totally worth a visit. If you're in an RV, don't be afraid. It's safe.
Yep, absolutely. If you want to see more and uh, location info, just click the link below. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. See you later. Join us. Subscribe. Watch a video. Click some buttons. Plug, 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 plug. plug. Come say hello. Plug. plug. Like us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram. <laughs> Look at me like that.